Hello everybody. So a while ago I made a hot sauce using 40 different chili peppers and that was um, a very interesting experience and it was really really good too. It was uh, interesting taking so many different types of heat that you can get from a chili pepper and mix them all together to make like a really well-rounded hot sauce. That was great. So I thought I would take it to the next level. So today I'm going to make a hot sauce that combines multiple different types of heat. See, chili peppers, they have something that's called capsaicin in it, which is a chemical compound that gives you that spicy taste, that heat. But if you were to have uh, black pepper, for instance, that is not capsaicin. That black pepper has a piperin, or piperin? Piperin, I'm gonna call it that. Uh, piperin and capsaicin are different compounds. They kind of have a similar sort of effect on the body, but they are different chemicals. Well, there are more than those two. I have so many different types of weird things in my apartment right now, and I'm gonna combine every type of hot tasting thing that I have in one sauce. So inside this Tupperware here, I have a bunch of frozen chili peppers. Some of them are uh, over a million Scovilles, so they're going to be super, super spicy. These are chili peppers that I have reviewed uh, in detail on my channel. Um, if you're interested in watching any of those, check out that playlist, which I'll put below. But uh, also what I have in here is another thing that has a sort of spicy element to it, and that is spice bush. Spice bush, I'm not sure if it actually gives you any heat, but it does have a quality that is reminiscent of heat. Spice bush has the species Lindera benzoin, and that has that name because benzoin is a resin, it's like a, a tree resin usually that is used in uh, perfumes and things like that. I think it's used sometimes as a spice. So spice bush has that name because it is similar to the, the sap. I'm not sure if it actually contains it, but it is similar. So it's going to kind of trigger a sort of spicy reflex without really being spicy. Next is piperin, which is the spice that you would get from black pepper. Now I do have black pepper, but I have also several different species related to black pepper. So same genus, different species, and that includes the Madagascar wild pepper, which I picked up in Madagascar, uh, Cubeb pepper, which is commonly used in like mutton dishes in certain parts of the Indian subcontinent, and I have long pepper, which is another species on top of all of that. Next we have Szechuan pepper, which is not a pepper at all, but it is closer in relation to citruses. It's from the citrus family. And this has a different compound in it that gives you that heaty, numbing kind of uh, sensation, and that is hydroxy alpha sanchul. So there you go. I'm going to put some of that in there. I actually have Szechuan peppercorns and winged prickly ash, which is another species related to Szechuan peppercorns. Next we have the Tasmanian mountain pepper. It gives you kind of like a, a spiciness that is a little bit like the black pepper spice and a little bit like the Szechuan pepper spice. Maybe a little bit like mustard also in its spiciness. It's a really weird kind of, kind of spiciness. It's almost uh, a little salty also. And this has a compound called polygodil in it. So those are all the peppery things, but I'm also going to put other things that also have a kind of heat to them, including garlic, ginger, and onions. Now, garlic and onions, they have a sulfuric kind of compound in it that makes you feel that sort of uh, hot sensation. The particular compound in garlic is called olicin, and that gives you that kind of heat. Uh, onions, I believe, have a, a variety of different compounds in it, but it's basically a sulfuric compound if I am understanding this correctly. Ginger has something called zingerone in it, which is also kind of a pungent, spicy kind of feeling. So it's not really like peppery, but it's also gonna punch this sauce up. So I'm gonna take all of these things and I'm gonna combine them to make a sauce and see if it doesn't 
kill me. Okay, so to prepare all of this, first I'm going to take the uh, peppercorns, the Szechuan pepper and the Tasmanian pepper, and I'm going to try to powderize those in a uh, mortar and pestle. This might take a while. A cup of apple cider vinegar. Put that in there and turn the heat on. Now the sort of hot sauce I'm making is not like the one I did last time. Last time I did it with a fermented pepper sauce. So you take all your peppers, you ferment them for a week, and then you blend them up, basically. Watch that episode if you want to learn more. So this is a, a different type of hot sauce that you can make and use instantly. To the vinegar, I'm going to take a tablespoon of salt and a teaspoon of sugar and to that I'm going to add all of my ingredients so the onion ginger and garlic goes first chili peppers and spice bush fruit and next we're gonna put in all of the dry ingredients. Okay, we're boiling, so I'm going to cover this and put it on low and let it simmer for about, um, well, for fresh peppers, I read it takes about 15 minutes because I have frozen ones and dried ones in there. Uh, let's go with 25. <coughs> the air is getting pretty, uh, unbreathable and the, uh, liquid has reduced down quite a lot so uh, scratch that not gonna do 25 minutes I'm gonna do 10 minutes I'm gonna turn off the heat and uh, I'm gonna let these soak like you would soak um, dry beans chili peppers are dry beans right it's the same thing no doesn't matter I'm gonna do it anyway beans are done It actually smells really good. It smells like a really good spicy pickle. It's got like a little bit of a tomato-y kind of smell, like a like a really spicy um, spaghetti sauce. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, I think I'm gonna put this in the fridge and let it like mellow out for like a day or two and then I'll see what it tastes like then. It is time for me to take my medicine. Oh man, <laughs> it's quite thick. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm like slightly worried it's gonna be gritty from all the dry spice in there. Got like, I don't know, like a half teaspoon of the stuff. Should I just go for it? This might be really, really hot. Mmm! Yeah. <coughs> that is intense. It's not blindingly hot, but there is a lot going on. It is salty, it is sour, it is spicy in so many ways but what's really coming out is um, black pepper and oddly it has a tomato-y flavor even though there's no tomatoes in there I guess because sometimes um, peppers can have a little bit of a tomato-y sort of taste. I mean, they are in the same family, so there's like a little bit of similarity there. So with the black pepper and the odd tomato-y taste and the onion and the garlic, it has a quality that's similar to like a very pungent, spicy spaghetti sauce, which is kind of odd. Uh, I think because of that prickly ash that's in there and the Szechuan pepper, it's quite sour more sour than I think it would normally be if it were just vinegar. Because those peppercorns have softened a little bit from being in the fridge for like two weeks, uh, 
it's not really gritty. It's like a little bit, but not enough where if you were to put that on something, you would notice. So eating like a spoon of it, I could tell a little bit. But I think if you were to put that in something, you would have no idea. That would be really good to put on pasta. That'd be really good on some toast with some cheese in uh, like on pizza. I think it would work pretty well with your typical hot sauce sort of applications, but it does give more flavor than just heat. There's a lot of flavor in there. But yeah, that's a, that's a big success. I'm surprised people don't usually make hot sauces using more than just chilies, whether you're going like super hot with your habanero hot sauce or more mild to make more of like a Tabasco hot sauce, and it's all just using chilies. So why not use other types of heat in there? It's definitely different. That does not taste like any hot sauce I've ever had, but it is something that is quite good. So if you'd like to make your own hot sauce, um, give it a try. I would like to give a big shout out to Smarter Every Day, Altpod, and the Harbor Leaf Tea Company. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. I'm sure you've heard about Patreon.com, but basically it is how I can afford to go on all the trips that I go on and how I get all the fruit that I review. That is all from funding from viewers like you. So if you enjoy what you're seeing here and you want to help me out, uh, please check out the link in the description below and uh, there you can find out more. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.